Hey subscribers, welcome and welcome back to another vlog. So for today's video, I am going to be making a back to school supplies haul with only 500 pesos budget. So, kaya 500 pesos budget because walang ano dito. Um, bags, chaka shoes, because yung gagamitin ko na shoes at chaka bag is yung ginamit ko last school year. Kasi, I'm pretty sure magagamit pa yun. And, guys, natuto na talaga ako maging practical because alam ko na mahirap humanap ng pera based on my previous video, yung ipon tips and tricks. At chaka pangalawa, tinuha ko lang talaga yung mga sa tingin ko ay kailangan for college since I am a freshman, incoming freshman college student. So alam ko na hindi gaanong maraming yung requirements for college. Just the basic needs. Basic needs lang tong mga pinamili ko. And also stay tuned for the end of this video because my pamini giveaway si Mayor. <laughs> okay, so yes, without further ado, let's get started. So, yung first na binili ko is the clear book. So, this is 51 pesos and 30 cents. So, dito natin is store yung mga files or mga papeles natin from the cashier, from our teachers, at kapag ano, humihingi ng records yung parents natin. May may papakita tayo. So, yan. So, yung second na binili ko is yung construction paper. So, kailangan din natin to in case may ipapadesign yung teachers natin, like projects or something like that. And then next is, oh by the way, this this is 13 pesos and 75 cents. By the way guys, lahat ng pinamili ko is pinamili ko lang siya sa, um, not national bookstore, pero parang ano, Para siyang ano, school supplies na store, pero lahat ng nandun is cheaper than the ones that are in national bookstore. So, ayun, that's why doon ako bumili ng aking mga school supplies because it's cheaper there. And next is bond paper. So, I only got short bond paper. Walang, walang long bond paper doon. So, this one is 20 pesos. Round off. Kasi 19.65 siya. So, ayan, kailangan naman natin ng bond paper, di ba? It's, it's a must. So, next, bumili ako ng yellow pad because super useful ng yellow pad natin. Kapag wala akong yellow pad, parati ako humihingin sa katabi ko or sa kaklase ko. Kasi, this is super useful. Pwede to maging one half crosswise, one fourth, one half lengthwise. So, yes. And bumili ako nito kasi first sem pa. So, ikka second sem, guys. Mga yun na lang <laughs> And then next is, I bought plastic envelope and brown envelope. So this is already 13 pesos with the brown envelope inside. Pwede din tong pang store ng mga test papers nyo after the exam. So bumili din ako ng composition notebooks. Ito pala yung resibo guys. Bumili din ako ng composition notebooks kasi walang binder dun sa pinabilhan ko nito sa mga school supplies ko. So just in case na hindi ako makakita ng binder, Bumili na, lang ako, bumili na lang ako ng notebook. Okay, so this one is from Fine Line and this is for... This one is for 12 pesos and 75 cents. So, grabe guys, mas makakasave kayo if hindi kayo bumili sa National Bookstore. And I also bought um, two binders. This is from People's. I bought this from People's for 75 pesos each and my binder ka na. So, this one, the first notebook, or binder. So the first notebook that we have here is the Hello na may panda. So cute kayo mga panda. Then it's just color white. So we have five colors ng notebook. So pwede nyo tong gawing math. Then ito naman science. Then research. Marketing. Ganun. What I like about this notebook guys is that yung, yung parang clip niya sa, sa gitna. Diba? Can you guys see this part? Hindi siya metal. Para siyang ano, garter na i-clip mo lang. So kapag mauubusan ka na ng fillers, okay, fillers yung tawag mo. So kapag nauubusan ka na ng fillers, it is very easy to refill it again. Kesa dun sa metal na parang may metal dito. Eh, hindi ko talaga alam kung paano yun gabitin. That's why hindi na lang ako bumili ng ganun. And next design is this one. Be your own kind of beautiful. So, blue lang siya na may pink, purple, tsaka yellow. 
dito sa side. And still the same. It is from Beko and 75 pesos only, guys. Sa Cebu, siguro yung mga binder doon mga 180 plus. Dito lang ako nakakita sa province namin ng ganito ka cheap na binders. So I got shocked sa price kasi sa Cebu, parati ako nakakita ng mga 180 pesos na binders or around 200 plus. But I don't know, maybe it depends sa brand. This one is Beko. Mm -hmm. Para my reference kayo. Okay, next. So this is the last item that we got. Pencil case, of course. This is included para sa mga pencils, ball pens, and markers, and highlighters. <laughs> so yung first na binili ko is scotch tape. Of course, we need this. It's self-explanatory. Then next, I bought highlighters, three highlighters, so green, orange, and yellow. Yes, this is for 41 pesos and 65 centavos. And I also bought pencil pen markers. So this one is from Flex Office, blue and black only. So hindi ako bumili ng red pencil pen marker kasi parang hindi naman. Tayo parating gumagamit ng red marker. So, ito na lang. Because it's practical. <laughs> and then next is Thick Note. So, this one is for 25 pesos and 25 cents. So, kapag nagsi study ka, pwede mo ilagay to sa notes mo para maalala mo kung sang page ka nag stop. Next, we need this so much correction tape. Because, of course, um, as a person, marami tayong mistakes, so we need to erase it. <laughs> Correction tape. This one is for 30 pesos and 35 cents. And then next, we have ball pens. Oh, by the way, I also have marker na slim. Permanent marker na ganito yung ano. Parang sharpie, pero hindi siya sharpie. But something like that. So yes, we also have this. And next, we have here my gel. This is the point for na my gel. Kasi, nung since high school ako, guys, gusto ng gusto ko na talaga yung my gel na ball pen. And I was also planning to buy G Tech here, pero walang G Tech don, so hindi na ako bumili. But by Fiber Castle naman ako. Fiber Castle? Fiber Castle? I don't know. Please correct me if I'm wrong, okay? I have the black, red, and blue. So, gusto ko din yung ano, gusto ko din yung tinta nito because it it looks like a sign pen. And yung hindi ko lang gusto nito is kapag nahuhulog siya, guys, hindi na siya nagwo-work. Sometimes it doesn't work anymore if it fell from your hands or from the table. Like nagtatae-tae na siya. So, eto. So, yan. So last but not the least is yung ID card. So bumili ako ng ID card because nasira na yung ID card ko and I need a new one. So this is only for 6 pesos or 7 pesos. And I have extra two. So yeah, that's it for my back to school supplies haul. As you can see, basic lang talaga yung pinamili ko. Sabi ko naman sa inyo kanina, diba? Basic lang. So yes, and surprise, surprise! So, lahat ng pinamili ko kanina is ipapag-giveaway ko siya for you guys. So, you just have to follow the mechanics which is very simple. So, first, you have to subscribe on my channel. Second, you have to follow all of my social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, at Facebook page. I will make sure to leave them in the description box down below. And third, you have to comment on why you should win or why you deserve to win ng lahat ng pinamili ko ng isang araw. And then fourth, last but not the least, you have to comment your full name and also your social handles like Instagram and Twitter para makontak ko kayo if ever kayo yung manalo sa giveaway ko. You have one week. I will announce the winner after one week. So you should abang-abang in my Instagram story. So dun ko ya announce yung winner at saka dun ko din siya i-message or sa Twitter. So yes, that's it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to reach your dreams because the sky is the limit. Bye. It could be weird, but I think I'm into it. You know I'm one for the overly passionate. I